Are you thinking of moving to a place called South Carolina? Maybe the idea of living in South Carolina has been something that's been on your mind. Well, watch this video to see if it's really for you. Hey friends, Ryan McHugh here, and if you love charming towns, sweet tea, and sunshine, you might be just dreaming of something called South Carolina. Now, I called South Carolina home nine years ago with my family because to be honest with you, South Carolina has a ton of stuff to do. It's family friendly. I love the Southern hospitality and there's never not anything to do with the family. You can always find something to do entertaining, go out with your kids. Maybe you don't have kids, maybe you're empty nesters, maybe you just kinda wanna have a cool place to hang out, go out for dinner and drinks every Friday and Saturday. Well, this area has a little bit of that for everyone. And today, I am breaking down everything you need to know before making the move to the Palmetto State. Let's start with what you'll fall in love with. South Carolina is dripping in Southern hospitality. Expect y'all and bless your heart in the best possible way. Unless somebody's mad at you, then they say bless your heart, not a good thing. Well, bless your heart, sugar. Plus, there's that incredible food, shrimp and grits and fried chicken and barbecue ribs and smoked wings. Ugh, I'm just getting hungry thinking about it now. All of the comfort food you can handle, plus the cost of living here compared to the rest of the country is pretty nice. I mean, the Northeastern cities it compare taxes. I mean, it's night and day, people. I have some people who will reach out to me. They're from New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, and they're like, hey, our taxes are like between six to $15,000. And I'm like, yeah, that's not it here. So, you know, I guess uh, not everywhere is the same. So that's really the draw as to why a lot of people do like this area is a lot lower taxes, a lot lower fees. Sure, we do pay different fees and taxes for some things, but those are the things that are, it's actually, that money is actually being allocated for the right thing. Now, it's not all sunshine and roses, folks. Summers are hot and humid. Like the sweat through your shirt kind of humid. Hurricanes are a risk too, so you gotta be prepared. I mean, we've had some good hurricanes come up the coast. Nothing has really decimated the area, but if you live in places like downtown Charleston proper on the peninsula, you're probably gonna get some sort of flooding on your street. Uh, downtown just was not designed to be flood friendly, but if you live in areas like West Ashley, uh, Hanahan, Somerville, parts of Mount Pleasant, you shouldn't be too concerned. But generally speaking, if they flip the highway, both one direction on both parts of the highway, and they do a mandatory evacuation, I would highly recommend you get out of Dodge. So be prepared. And if you're coming from a big city, the slower pace of life and smaller towns might just take some adjustment. Now, listen, I get people who are coming from you know, these big, big cities, or they may have lived in this like small little niche neighborhood their entire life. They've known everybody. And so they come here, they buy in a master plan community, but all of a sudden it's like culture shock to them and they don't know what to do. It's like cat, cats with mittens on their feet. They just feel out of place. You know, they don't, they don't know how to take it. And so sometimes they get moody, nasty, grouchy, okay? That can happen. You may get hometown blues. That was something that was a real thing for me because at the time we moved here, there wasn't all these great restaurants opening, okay? There was like, you know, you had two options, two or three like really decent options. So now you've got all these new places here. Trust me, I understand I went through the same thing, but you have to remember you're starting a new lifestyle. So the lifestyle is gonna be different no matter where you're coming from. You just have to take into account, you can't become the Karen of the neighborhood. Um, you, you just can't, you can't be that person that, 
you know, gets into people's business. You know, people for the most part here are generally laid back. Everybody wants to mind their own business. Very few people care what you have going on. It's the people who make it their point to get into your business that make it annoying, right? So, you know, just think of the good things, go go with the flow and you'll get along just fine. Now, South Carolina is all about balancing work and play. Amazing beaches, mountains for hiking. It's an outdoor lover's paradise. History buffs like myself will find their hearts full with plantations, battlegrounds, charming historical districts in the city. Like downtown Charleston has tons of old churches and buildings. Um, some were that were before the fire, some that were after the fire. So you're gonna, you know, if you're someone who enjoys those kinds of things, you're gonna absolutely love it here. I mean, I always love going downtown in it's I don't know if it's the architecture, the historic charm, the trees. It just looks like you're walking through, you know, a historic painting of some sort. And it, and it's really it's a cool vibe. Um, especially if you're gonna go out and have dinner. You know, you're not going to this big metropolitan city where there's skyscrapers and everything. You're in this cool, like, really historical town and city, but you're not having, like, skyscrapers and, you know, noise and honk and cabs and, you know, all that stuff. It's not New York City. So that's one of the things that I think will make a lot of people love it here. Okay, well, we can't talk about moving here without talking about the retirees and the people who are looking to move here as well. Now, whether you're a halfbacker, and by that I mean you move to Florida and now you're like, Florida sucks, it's too hot, there's nothing to do, everybody acts like they're ready to die, I want out because I'm still an active adult. Well, that's great. We have a place for you here. We have really great active adult communities, but if you don't wanna be in an active adult community, you can move into a master plan community where you still have young families, younger people, younger generations, so it really comes down to what it is you're looking for. So many retirees flock here for the weather and the relaxed lifestyle. Even young professionals are finding that this scene is cool, that it's a fast growing city. Like Greenville and Charleston, military families, I mean, are huge here. So you not only have a complex of people who are coming here from you know, technological or technology background. You got people who are moving here from the healthcare industry. You have people who are moving here for the automotive industry, tack on the military complex. I mean, you've got bases all across the state. So people are wanting to be a part of the Southern charm. There is a charm here. There is a, it's just a total lifestyle change. I could not imagine having to move back to New York. It literally gives me, anxiety thinking about like oh if I had ever lived back in New York raised my kids there I don't think I could do it or would want to do it for that matter the relaxed lifestyle here is worth everything I mean the cool and mild winters we have I mean you're not battling snow you're not battling the frozen tundra I talk to some people who are moving here from Las Vegas and they'll say to me well Ryan you know like it stinks because in the daytime you have to wear like shorts and a t-shirt but then if like you're gonna go out at night you got to dress up maybe wear a jacket because you know the desert gets pretty cold at night so it really comes down to the fact that we just have mild mild seasons here um, our spring is most people's summer and then our summer is pretty hot. And, but if you can get used to that and that's something that you can really adjust yourself to, you'll get along just fine. Yeah, I sweat a little bit extra in the summer, but so what? I bring an extra T, I always have an extra T-shirt in the car. You know, that's just something you plan for. And once you get through all that, once you think about like all the great things that are here, you're gonna enjoy this area so much more. So, all right, if you're enjoying this content, do me a favor, go ahead and click the like button. Leave me a comment below. What's something about Charleston that you love? Maybe it's something you hate. Maybe you're like, Ryan, we visited, we did not like X, Y, and Z. And most people always complain about the traffic. Most people always complain um, that the people drive too aggressively. I get it. But coming from a Charleston local now, you know, what's what's some stuff that people should know? And I think one of the biggest tips that you should know is bug spray. 
This is going to be your best friend. Leave it in the car. Uh, put it in a to-go bag. If you got a beach bag, bring it with you. Uh, especially if you're going to be near the marshes. You know, the marshes are just like poof, tons of bugs. You have palmetto bugs. You got mosquitoes. Uh, if you're going to be out on a boat in the evening time, that's usually when it gets just that that cool 78 degrees. That's oh, that's when they're perfect blood sucking time, right? Yeah, they're out there. Tip number two, traffic though, like I said, it gets rough. And so you got to find the right area for your work commute. So that meaning, hey, if you're thinking that you're going to find somewhere 20 minutes to commute to work, it's probably going to be 30 to 40 minutes if traffic kicks up. So you just got to think about those things. Now, I have people who I know work 40 minutes, 45 minutes from their home but so they're in the reverse direction. So they drive in the morning when you get all the congestion heading from like Somerville into downtown Charleston, they're going to the other direction. And they tell me like, Ryan, we hit no traffic in the morning. It's, it's 45 minutes every day. And I go, well, I guess that's kind of not a bad, not a bad thing, but you're seeing the infrastructure grow. So you're seeing um, them put in more and more roads and widen roads. And I think it's great. And they're also, if you're somebody who's kind of like a nerd techie like me and you like technology, one of the things I noticed is that they're updating all of their auto drive systems. So if you're familiar with Tesla's auto drive, maybe you're a GM user and you use Super Cruise, uh, a lot of the roads are getting those features. So they're actually, I've noticed like some of the newer roads or the roads that they're widening are actually having the super cruise feature, um, you know, updates are rolling out. So I think pretty soon you're gonna see this area be a technology haven. And that, if whether you like that or you don't like that, you know, it's up to you. But I, I think it's really cool, all the new tech stuff that's coming to the area, especially since we have fiber internet. All right, tip number three, let's talk about bless your heart, all right? <laughs> bless your heart. <laughs> It isn't how it sounds, okay? It's not as sweet as it sounds. If if you're talking to someone and you say something and they just look back at you and they go, bless your heart, and they walk away, probably not a good thing. It's, it's definitely not a good thing. I'm going to just be honest. It's a bad thing. Bless your heart basically means, okay? I just said it. I'm going to say it. And it it's it's solely because they do not want to use a profane word. So bless your heart is their way of saying it. So had your first southern insult. Bless your heart. Could you imagine you're driving down the road and you get in a get in a road rage incident and the person rolls their window down and goes, "Bless your heart." <laughs> it's just funny to me. I I I've always found that that phrase funny. So could you picture yourself as a South Carolinian? Go ahead, drop a comment below. Remember, if you guys love what I'm saying and you're thinking about a move here and you're like, Ryan, we need someone cool to help us out with our move. Uh, we don't need this um, Southern charm person or whoever. You know, we need we need somebody who, who gets it, who knows what it's like moving from out of state into state, because I do knows what it's like whether you have a family or you don't maybe you're a retiree i helped my parents retire here two years ago and they love it so if i can help them i can help you be sure to go ahead and give me a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel and if you want to know more you want to know more about this area maybe you want to dip a little bit deeper maybe you want more cons go ahead and click this video right here